Why can't I keep it up? That's something I used to ask myself. It's something that people ask me. And honestly, it's like this. I love food. My why. I needed a why. You need a why to be able to do this thing. You need a why to be able to push yourself to the extremes. You sometimes have to hit rock bottom before you see that why, huh? You sometimes gotta be at the lowest, deepest depths of your health maybe to see that why. This is The Gastric Life and I'm your host, James Pugh. Pew, 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 pew. Let's start from the beginning. Let me tell you a little bit of my story Let's call it the introduction to the podcast. Then we'll talk about my vision for the podcast and the channel if you're watching over on YouTube. So starting out, I must tell you, you're looking at me now, you're saying 200 pounds. Well, how much did you weigh? And well, what do you weigh now? Well, I weighed 408 pounds at my heaviest weight. I am right now, I mean, you guessed it, I'm 208. Well, technically speaking, as I'm recording this video, I am 210 but listen, 200 just sounded better, okay? So cut me a little bit of a slack, cut me a little bit of break. I'm going to lose the two pounds, I promise you. <laughs> I'll post it on the social media community tab over on YouTube. All right, so why am I here? Why are you looking at me? And well, what's, why did you get gastric? Yeah, I lost 198, 200 pounds. We'll call it 200. Like I said, still sounds so much better. Well, how did I lose this weight? Well, from the channel or the name of the podcast, I guess you can kind of guess it's partly, mostly, to be honest with you, gastric. But I did do some things on my own where I lost 70 pounds before I even had surgery. <laughs> Why did I get gastric surgery in the first place? This is the main question I'm asked all the time. And well, to be honest, I could lose weight. I was always able to lose weight, right? Like if you understand what I'm saying right now and you're watching over on YouTube, hit that like button. You can, you lose weight. It was so easy to lose weight. It seemed like I could lose 50 pounds here, 40 pounds here, another 30 here, but it was keeping it off. That was the hard part. Being able to keep it off and, you know, stay motivated, really. Being, res uh, having resilience and, and, and keep pushing on and stay in lines, being, you know, being in, on the straight and narrow path, as you would call it. And well, I, this is where I fell at all the time. So I had to figure out something. I had to do something else. And Another, another common question I'm asked all the time is, why couldn't I keep it off? That's something I used to ask myself. It's something that people ask me. And honestly, it's like this. I love food. I'm, I'm just going to be real with you. I mean, can, can I be real with you on this podcast? Can I, can I be honest with you on this podcast? I don't want to be one of these people that makes it seem like I'm on the straight and narrow all the time. I'm not, trust me. I fail so much, but it's having resilience and getting up and snapping back into it and keeping going and keeping that drive and that motivation going each and every day that makes me successful at this weight loss scene now. But I love food. I love eating different style foods and stuff. And I had to learn how to have a relationship with food on a healthier terms, um, knowing that I can eat whatever I want, but in moderations, right? Is a big keyword. But I couldn't do this. It took so much effort to do this. And I literally, guys, I literally since high school, since I got out of high school, I was working at Popeye's and I gained 100 pounds in a year, 100 pounds in one year. And it just kept going from there. I kept going up, up, up. And again, like I said, I was able to lose weight. I was able to keep it off and stuff. But what would happen is I would just gain it back because there was no actual drive. There was no actual uh, um, goal or process the system uh, you know, there was always a goal, right? Like I had a goal. There was always something I was shooting for, but it seemed like once I got to that goal or got close to that goal, uh, I just forget about the system on how I got there. And well, I just gain it back. We call it the yo-yo effect, right? 
yo 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 effect. You get lose some weight and then you come back up and you start eating and you lose some weight and you come back up. I like to call it the roller coaster effect as well. Like I like to get on roller coasters and twists and turn and stuff. That's kind of like how some of our lives are. It seems like sometimes come on out, but yeah, it's how my life was when it came to losing weight and stuff. And you know, I, I figured I had to do something, right? Well, the final straw for me was this. And I want you to lean in and listen real good here because this was my why. I needed a why. You need a why to be able to do this thing. You need a why to be able to push yourself to the extremes. You sometimes have to hit rock bottom before you see that why. huh? You sometimes got to be at the lowest, deepest depths of your health maybe to see that why. But when you see that why and that why is there, this whole thing comes so much clearer. This whole thing can become so much easier. And we'll get into a lot of that stuff later. But today we're just talking about the journey and how I got here and what I had to do and stuff. So the last straw that pretty much broke the camel's back, um, put my pinky on a camel, would have broke the camel's back back in the day, but was this. I have a nephew and he started football. And I wanted to get in shape so I could be at his football games and, you know, be able to run around with his little behind. And um, I started working out, started losing weight again, right? I'm able to lose weight. I'm able to do this kind of thing. But what happened was along the journey is I, I got hurt. I hurt my back exercising, actually, over all things. And when I say hurt my back, I I, 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 I tore I tore muscles back here at the bottom lower end of my back. Why? Because I was doing exercise wrong. Why? Because I was on the machines instead of doing free weights. Fun fact, if you didn't know this, you will, it is easier to hurt yourself on those machines with the cables than it is using free weights. That is a fact. Look it up. (laughs) But yeah, I hurt myself. And what happened was I couldn't hardly walk without pain. I couldn't sit without pain. I couldn't sleep without pain. And to make matters worse, I'm a full-time truck driver driving down the road eight hours a night, bumping down the road. And, you know, it was horrible. I started getting depressed, um, you know, and this is where the the darkness kind of sets in for me. I, I, you know, I got to the point where I, I didn't like myself. I didn't really ever like myself to be a hundred percent honest with people. I, you know, I was the guy that would always have the people joke with me and stuff about my weight and stuff. And, you know, I, I put this hard face on and this, 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 you know, ha ha, it's pretty funny, but deep down inside it, it, you know, and you know, nothing to anybody that's listening to this that's joked around with me. But, you know, I think it did do something to me internally where I put this brick wall up to where I didn't want to show my emotions and stuff. Because when I would ride down the road, I would literally look at my stomach and just jiggle it and be like, wow, that's disgusting. (laughs) I would literally stand in the mirror looking at myself naked, uh, not to get, you know, super, uh, (laughs) get super personal with you guys. Um, But, and I would look at myself and say, wow, I'm disgusting looking. And, you know, I'm not saying that you have to lose weight, by the way. Let me be real clear. You know, I want people to feel comfortable with themselves. That's the end of the day what I want for this channel. That's what I want for you to look in the mirror and feel comfortable with yourself. But see, me at 400 pounds, I I didn't feel comfortable with myself. And that's just a hard truth. You know, people will say, oh, you didn't, you carried you. I hate this. I really do. People say it all the time. But me looking back now, there's no way I can look at, I can say I carried my weight well. I was huge. People say, oh, you're a big guy. No, it's, that was an excuse. You know, I'm, I'm looking at myself now at 200 pounds, almost 210, 208. Just give me time. I'll be there. And I can't imagine being 400 pounds now. I can't imagine, you know, carrying all that weight around and looking in the mirror and being like, man. But yeah, I was depressed, you know, and 
it got to the point where I couldn't go to my nephew's games, right? I couldn't go and, and, and cheer for him or go and, you know, sit in just a chair or sit on a bleacher or whatever because I was just in so much pain. I did go and I was going to chiropractor. I was going to chiropractor three times a week, three times a week to get my back fixed. I would go to the game Saturday and I would jump up and cheer because that's just who I am and I would re-injure my back, <laughs> So I just had to stop going and it just got so, man, it was so exhausting being depressed about it. It really was like I was depressed. I've never really experienced depression like this before. Driving down the road, tearing up, crying because I was just like, man, I, 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 I can't do nothing. I'm 32 at the time years old and you're telling me I can't do nothing because of my weight, because of my back, because I'm injured. Man, come on. Like I had to make a change. Now, the change, right? One thing that I did, and I want you guys to lean in strong here because, you know, I, I want to be real when I talk to you guys about this stuff. I've heard of, bear, I've heard of uh, you know, we used to call it gastric bypass. That's what I used to call it. That's all I knew it as was gastric bypass. I didn't know it as anything else. But I've heard of this gastric bypass in the past. And, you know, I've heard of people losing weight and stuff, but I've always, you know, heard of people regaining it and not being able to do it and stuff. And me not really understanding what it was or how it worked, this, that, and the other, and just listening to other people talk and stuff, I developed this thing in my head thinking it was a bad thing. You know, because I've had people tell me before, hey, why don't you look into, you know, gastric bypass? And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. That's cheating. I'm not going to do that. You, are you kidding me? I was like, you, you know how many people do it and gain the weight back because they can't stay, they can't do it right, you know? And I got all these thoughts and ideas in my head about it. And, you know, I never looked into it. But let me tell you something. What made me look into it was when I got rock bottom, when I found my why. Why am I like this? Why am I having these issues? Why do I feel depressed? It was because of my weight. It was because of how I looked. It was because of me not being able to go to my nephew's games. It was because I couldn't get up out the off the couch. Literally couldn't get off the couch without breathing heavily. It was sitting there next to my wife and us just sitting there and she being like, babe, you're breathing really heavily. And I know that, you know, that's not being like, she was actually concerned about my health. Like, cause she was like, you're just, you're the breathing you're doing, just doing absolutely nothing. It's really, really, really deep and heavy because my body's working so hard to work these organs with this, you know, so much excess weight on my body. So, when I hit this rock bottom and I figured out my why, I finally decided to, I feel like to be a hundred percent with you guys, I honestly feel like it was like God, like putting this there, putting this thought into my head, gastric, you know, look in the gastric, look in the gastric. And I, you know, I didn't want to at first, but, I just remember driving down the road one night and being depressed to the point where I decided to pull over and I literally put on a podcast to listen to something on gastric. You know, what is gastric a lot? You know, and just found some videos, not videos, but podcasts to listen to while driving down the road. And I started learning what bariatric was I started to learn the different styles and the different techniques and what it what this bariatric surgery will do versus this bariatric like bypass versus sleeve versus lap band right there's three different main ones we'll learn about all that in later videos and stuff because I have a lot of video ideas and things I want to talk to you guys about and teach you about and by the way I have to throw this out there I'm going to throw this out there in every video somehow some way so I'm definitely not a physician a nutritionist or a fitness coach I'm not certified in any of these things the things you hear on this channel are things that I go through that work for me, always check with your physician, nutritionist, or fitness person, you know, coach or whatever, before you just 
take what I say to the bank because, you know, I could be wrong. I am human for crying out loud. So once I started looking into the bariatric, right? Once I started looking into it and stuff and I figured out some of the things that it also helps with, I also learned that it's also a tool. It's not the solution. Let me say that again for you guys that are new and thinking about this. Maybe maybe you stumbled across the podcast and this is your first episode. Bariatric surgery is not the solution. It's just a tool to help you with the system to help you achieve your overall fitness goals. If you go into it like this, instead of the solution, I promise you your results will be better. I promise you you'll have a better understanding on it. And there's so many more things to do with, with you know, one of the biggest things, 90%, and personally, I feel like is mental. One, oh, that's going to be a huge episode. That's going to be a huge uh, video and stuff and podcast for you guys. But so how was the process of bariatric surgery and stuff? You know, I, I can go into all that, but honestly, we're not going to talk about this video. We're going to do different videos or podcasts, however you're listening. I'm just so used to doing um, video that I, you know, yeah, whatever. But we're going to talk about that in different videos and stuff. What I want to talk to y'all a few minutes about is my vision for this channel and this whole thing, right? And this podcast, whatever. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about what works for me, not what you ought to be doing, right? I want to just tell you what works for me. And then if you do what I do and you have results, hallelujah, praise the Lord. But... I'm not going to be like, you ought to. What I'm going to do is say, hey, I did this and these are the results. Take it or leave it, right? But I feel like that's a good, I feel like that's a good place. And would be doing that, I want to help out as many people as possible, reach their goals or just educate them on anything come bariatric. So key takeaways from this episode is going to be this. I've lost 200 pounds using the methods that I used before surgery and then using doing bariatric sleeve surgery and losing another 130 pounds afterwards. I have a lot of success and failures on this entire journey from, from beginning to end. So what I want to do is bring all that information, knowledge, my success and failures to you kind of like a journal and help you guys out where I can. But also this is going to keep me on the straight and narrow, I feel like, because me putting these videos out, me doing these, getting on here and talking to you guys and just knowing that I'm able to help somebody and seeing your comments over there on YouTube or if you're leaving a five-star review, hey, over there on Apple Podcasts, hey, yeah, I'm talking to you. Uh, you know, that's going to just help me stay more motivated and stay on this, you know, straight and narrow path. So with all that being said, if you want to follow along on this journey, seeing my pros, my cons, where I fell, if I fell, and maybe be able to learn something along the way or me being able to help you out, make sure you drop a follow if you're listening on one of the main podcast platforms or if you're over on YouTube and you're watching this right now in video format, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next podcast. Peace, love, and pew out.